Dragon Ball Super Episode 81 will feature the Goku vs Bergamo third round or the pre-tournament exhibition match. As we know, earlier, Boo won the first round but Gohan lost to Lavandra in the second, making this round the decider of this match. In this video, I will break down the preview trailer of Dragon Ball Super Episode 81 and it might also contain spoilers up to Episode 83. First, let's check out the title and preview summary. Episode 81, Crusher Bergamo vs Son Goku, which has sky-high strength. Airing date, March 5th. The omnipresent match comes to a head. Does Goku have a shot at victory? The final battle of the omnipresent match is Goku vs Bergamo. Bergamo uses some slick talking to get the stadium on Universe 4's side, turning them completely against Goku and gang. What's more, Bergamo shows off his ability to turn his opponent's attack into his own power. How will Goku fight this tricky foe? Crusher Bergamo shows his stuff. Omni King this week, taking back his declaration to wipe out the universes? Accepting the Bergamo's proposal, Omni King announces that if Universe 4 wins, he will withdraw his plan to wipe out universes who lose in the Tournament of Power. What is Omni King's aim? Translation courtesy Herms98. Well, there's some confusion regarding the preview summary. In the official source, it is mentioned Universe 4, but it will most probably be Universe 9. We'll talk more about that as we go through the frame by frame breakdown of this preview. So, from the first shot, we know Bergamo was strong enough to push Goku to go Super Saiyan at least. We see him preparing some reddish fist attack. Looks cool. Bergamo as a character also looks quite cool, not in a powerful way, more like refreshing. About this battle overall, I don't think there's any way Bergamo can overpower Goku. There's just no way he would be stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. None of the fighters of U9 are stronger than U7 fighters. The only reason Lavender managed to tie the round versus Gohan was because he used a sneaky poisonous move. The only way Goku will lose this match is by something weird like that or if Goku willingly loses because of the reason mentioned in the preview summary. I will analyze more on if Goku will throw the match for the greater good later in this video. Moving on, Champa seems a bit pissed off. Why wouldn't he? But Whis, like always, is all chill. He knows no matter what, he's gonna be fine. His daddy is the great priest after all. Notice that all of them including Beerus are looking upwards. That's most probably because of Bergamo's giant transformation. Hell yeah! Things are going to get real intense next episode. What does this remind you of though? How many giant transformations we have in Dragon Ball? Well, technically Goku also has a giant form, the Great Ape form. But Bogamo's transformation reminds us more of the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament finale where Piccolo transformed into a giant to take down Goku. As they just get bigger in size and not transform into something totally different like an ape, of course the giant form didn't work out for Piccolo. From the looks of it, it's also not going to work out for Bergamo either. As we see Goku is hitting him in the trailer as he's falling. After being hit by Goku, Unless one can keep his speed and strength the same in their giant form, they only become a bigger target, which I think is not a smart thing to do against a swift opponent like Goku. So I don't think this giant form is going to work out well for Bergamo. Then this shot says, Tapo, the black hooded warrior from universe 11 is paying close attention to the fight. As you all probably know by now, he is kind of a big deal. He's so strong, he's actually considered to be a candidate for the God of Destruction role. The fact that he is here along with the gods alone highlights his importance and the impact he is going to have. Now something that's happening in the fight catches his attention. What could it be? I certainly don't think it is or it should be Bergamo's giant transformation. That's not something extraordinary. Besides, he also took note of Gohan's Super Saiyan form, so don't think it's about SSG either. So could this mean that Goku will go Super Saiyan Blue while fighting Bergamo? 
while Goku having to go SSB with a comparatively weaker opponent like Borgamo does seem like a stretch, but maybe Borgamo wanted to see his power and Goku's not shy of doing that. And if he does go Super Saiyan Blue, it is bound to catch everyone's attention, because I highly doubt any of them ever saw any mortal getting hold of the God Key ever before. This might be what caught Tapu's attention and he might even be pissed off about it. When Basel's attack got deflected towards Universe 11, Tapu said, you dare disrespect the gods. I think Tapu might have some similarity with Zamasu in their holy way of viewing the gods, and that Goku has God Key even though he isn't a god might make him and few others a bit pissed off. Interestingly enough, we know Tapu is going to get involved in episode 82 as the title is The Righteous Warrior Tapu Bursts In. Sounds interesting, but when will it happen? Is it after the match? Is it on Goku or U7? Won't it be an inappropriate thing to do in front of all these gods? Or is it a separate segment as we see Tapu recruiting the team in his own universe? As in episode 83, we will finally see Universe 7 forming their team. Okay, all that apart, about the episode preview summary, it's probably Universe 9 in place of Universe 4. If that is in fact the case, this seemingly useless exhibition match will now have some impact. That is if Universe 9 wins, there will be no destruction. So do you think Goku will lose the match on purpose? Goku is a bit selfish, but as you know, he's not responsible for the destructive rule. Zeno was going to Zeno was going to weaker universes anyway. Thanks to Goku, the universes will now have a fighting chance, so I think if presented with the opportunity, Goku would lose, but we don't know how exactly this will go down. However, we do know, no matter what happens at the end, it has to be a survival tournament. Even if they withdraw the rule now, it'll come back. Because the name of this arc itself is Universal Survival Arc, and if the law is removed, it would be taking away the biggest speciality of this tournament of power. Also, fighters like Gohan and other Z5 are supposed to train giving their 100% for the sake of protecting their universe. I think the rule will not be withdrawn, and from a creative plot point of view, should not be withdrawn. Hopefully the fight will be entertaining, see this shot even the stage got broken. That's about all. I know I was extremely late for this preview, you are probably watching this only a few hours apart from this episode. Sorry for that, I'm actually quite sick. So it took me an awful lot of time to do this and even though it's late, I thought let's just have a pre-episode talk with you guys. So comment your opinion, thoughts and predictions down below. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.